Donald Trump's Last Days, the Snoop Dogg beef in a recent report by Rolling Stone, the tumultuous relationship between Donald Trump and Snoop Dogg came to the forefront, revealing how it caused significant chaos during the final days of Trump's presidency. The animosity between the two figures reportedly reached obsessive levels for Trump, leading to distractions from his presidential duties and creating turmoil within the White House. The saga began when Snoop Dogg embarked on a mission to secure executive clemency for several federal prisoners, including his close friend and co-founder of Death Row Records, Michael Harry O'Harris. This initiative involved collaboration with the White House, with Snoop advocating fiercely for the pardons. As Trump's term drew to a close, tensions escalated. Past remarks made by Snoop Dogg resurfaced in Trump's mind, sparking renewed anger particularly on January 18, 2021, just days after the Capitol riots and as Trump prepared to deliver his farewell address to the nation. According to sources within the Trump administration, the final days of his presidency were characterized by a fixation on Snoop Dogg rather than his successor, Joe Biden. Trump's fury reportedly manifested in outbursts across the White House, leading to abrupt reversals of decisions. In a startling turn of events, Trump allegedly instructed his staff to remove Harris' name from the list of pardon candidates due to his association with Snoop Dogg. However, the intervention of activist Weldon Angelos, who had documented Snoop's positive remarks about Trump, prompted a change of heart. Consequently, Harris was granted clemency on Trump's last day in office. The saga underscores the unpredictability and personal vendettas that often characterized Trump's presidency. Despite the weighty responsibilities of the presidency, Trump's obsession with the celebrity feud had tangible consequences, illustrating the complexities of power and influence in the highest office of the United States. As the dust settles on Trump's presidency, the saga serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of allowing personal grievances to overshadow presidential duties and decision-making.